Oh, hello again. And I'm back. Continuing with the Devits. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how I got the shape for the transom uh, to make them up pretty well. So, stick around. I dream of sailing. So what I'm doing right now is actually setting it up to go as a headpiece and see how that's going to go because I'm going to be doing some grinding and uh, I will check that out. Let's give it a shot. Guys, for safety, make sure you don't plug in your power cord when you are replacing the uh, the blades on this. So it's disconnected, just sitting on the floor, and I'm gonna be putting the cutting blade. I don't need the sanding right now. So I'm using 40 grit metal cutting blades and these uh they do wear down but they last long enough to make a few cuts as long as you don't bind up while you're doing the cutting and uh the thing to do is not make sure that you don't apply a lot of pressure just let the blade do the work itself I tie it up so that way it holds me up. You can do it this way or can do a, the two ends like this. Make a knot back here and plug it in. I actually rather do it this way. It doesn't put as much stress on your plugs. So this way it holds back. Now I've already had this uh, Davit sitting back here and I actually had it sitting very well I was pleased with the way it's sitting and I came back after work on this one the way you saw it last time I had them outside of the boat I don't think I did any additional modification on the bottom well anyway I came back over here yesterday and hung it up as you can see I got a line just holding it up more or less in level and I got some pressure holding it back here so the back end stays where I want it and I got it sitting up against the the back plate but if you look it's only sitting on the back plate on the top edge of it which I could not do any welding the way it is right now so the way I'm going to do this cut is I'm going to ride this plate right here and cut through at the same angle as the plate okay so anyway writing this profile against the profile of the transom even though in this case it's going to be on the top of the plate that's going to give me a uniform cut that I should be able to follow let me see how I'm gonna set this up and what's the best way to go about it right here seems good to me Yeah, that's going to take off about wow not leaving me a lot on this cross brace I wanted to leave more but uh, the way it is right now you can see how far out I'm I'm over there so I need to 
set this up where the set's level like that. So I can get half of it from one side and get the majority from the other side and then just finish up the top. So now that I got that scored on both sides, I should be able to pull this up and sit it over here to finish off my cut. So got to finish up this cut on the same angle that I had here and that should be good to uh, follow up with this. I believe this should do it. Try it again. But I like the angle that it's sitting at. Top angle, like I said, I can uh, lean back a little bit. And to do that, I have to take off a little bit more on that, uh, that top plate right there. And that whole center section a little bit. This project is not as easy as it looks. Uh, working off with offsets from the transom and then trying to work out the correct pitch on that and trying to meet uh, different elevations on a curved surface. But uh, right now the way it is, a sanding disc by placing it back up, up here We'll do it again, but my sending disc is shot, so I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. This has been worn out. These flappers work pretty well on a lot of the work that you need done. I'm happy. I'm happy with how that's sitting, actually. Oh, 
I'll be back once I get a little bit more established. I will be taking this one down, putting this one over here up and seeing how that looks. What are you doing again? You're making me squat the deck again. Oh my god. My own personal Alma Fudd. <laughs> the not never ending cleaning tasks, huh? That's okay. It's a new home. You have to clean it. Yeah. You have to do this stuff. Well guys, you can see I got both my davits stacked up over here and I got the angles to the plates finally I, I hope uh, pretty much uh, uh, fine-tuned as to the angle that they set both of them and the, the top angles first one I established looking at that one and seeing how it was lined up so it was fairly close to what that one was the original one these sit, the top arm is slightly bit longer and uh, they sit slightly different, but the pitch, everything uh, on it looks pretty good. And I gotta say, this was, this proved to be a much more challenging uh, cut than what I anticipated because the slightest I would put the plate up, okay, for instance, and it would be pitching out uh, or still outwards too much. So I would make a small modification here. As soon as I would do that, the bottom would not set. Any change that I would make on the bottom, it would make a huge impact on the top. So this required me doing quite a few cuts. I would put it up against the plate. I would scribe it with a Sharpie for the distance. And you can see that I didn't even take it up to that line, even though it's scribed that way. And uh, I just kept playing with it, and then I would have it hit them here, but not here or here. So it needed that little bit of a contour as well. Really proved to be quite a challenge, never mind the outside legs, because I could not get a line to figure that out. So what I'll do is put this up, and then make a cut based on the angle of the transom and uh, weld the plates but I can always pull these up slightly to make them reach the, the correct location I'm actually considering cutting these off over here putting the bases putting the bases to the original holes that are there with the original uh, plates and then line this up to wherever it lines up and 
welded to that which means that these would probably come up from up here but this would not be as far out spanned out as it is and of course with that it would i would have to modify this cut to make it fit correct so you can see some of the slivers on the deck over there on the passerelle of slivers that i've taken off at different points through here it really did require a lot of cuts a lot of putting in and out to get the uh the proper angle as you can see all kinds of little slivers just to adjust the way that they sat so i wanted it uh, welded yesterday and uh, the welder did not show up talked to me uh, that he would be doing it Tuesday which is this is a long uh, weekend I went to Harbor Freight I was ready to pick up a darn uh, welder but the welder that they have uh, unless I want to pay $700 runs this on two, uh, 240 and I don't have 240 on the boat even though I could have gotten from the dock but I'm gonna be saving that welder so for future uh, purposes I would not be able to use it. These Allen screws are really tight in here. Yes, and I have tried an impact. The bottom one came out fine. This one over here is giving me a hard time. And the top one is giving me a hard time. I've already broken this one loose. But I think it's spinning on the inside. You can see that it's spinning a little bit. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, this is the one that's spinning on the inside, I think, the nut. And uh, I do not have accessibility to the nut. The nut is behind the double wall. So I have to make an opening back there to get the other David on anyway. Well, it's sunshine in one minute. It's downpour and gusts and all that stuff the next. Amazing. We just ran inside. This just started. I wish I was sailing though. Yeah, I can't wait till I get my hard top up. I got a little holes all over the place and it does leak. Well, it's not a leak. The water does come down inside the boat. With a hard top, this will change to somewhere.
Well, here I am giving you a visual of how the davits look on the boat. And uh, I got them just stringed up right now. Waiting on the welder still. A little disappointed because he should have been here. Friday. Today's Sunday and tomorrow's a holiday. So he's not showing up until Tuesday. So I have both of them lined up. I was able to remove the one on this side, which was quite a task. Um, actually, I had to drill the heads out of the of the bolts and wiggle the piece out and uh, got it off and somewhat cleaned up. But if you see, if you can see, the lines are perfectly lined up with each other, both on an up and down angle. So I'm really happy with the way that they sit. And that was the big thing, was to try to get these things in the correct elevation side to side and the correct angles. And it took quite a bit of doing, trimming, trimming, uh, you know, kept on trimming these back sections until it sat just right. And the slightest change from one to the other the slightest change made on the uh, on the angle really did change the pitch of the piece. So I am happy the way it sits right now, and not a moment too soon. So there will be a slight adjustment just to get things tight and it's good to go time time to go out and edit this video and send it out to you guys this is Alfataro the rebel turner on idos and this is a, just another update on boat life thanks for watching Thanks for coming aboard and spending time with us. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Also hit the little bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Thank you. We'll see you on the next adventure.